So, this, this is a weird one. There's a lot of, just, I don't, man, this just sounds really fucking bad. I, it, it, this is really bad. So, Asia Argento, she's in the news again. Uh, she was one of the first people to come out uh, and claim that Harvey Weinstein had uh, assaulted her or whatever, sexual misconduct, whatever it was. And now she is facing claims that she paid off some guy to not make claims pretty much the same thing as her. <clears throat> but but this goes way deeper and it looks far worse. There's a lot of a lot of strange things going on here, a lot of odd claims, a lot of ins and outs, a lot of, a lot of Strange claims. Things going on. Gotta watch what I say. Um, so anyways, how, how, how did this all happen? Well, Ozzy Argento was in a movie with a seven-year-old kid called The Heart is Deceitful Above All Things. Interesting title. Uh, in that movie, she played this seven-year-old kid's mother. This is the beginning. It doesn't get any better from here. You fast forward 10 years, and the seven year old kid that she played his mother in a movie, she had sex with him. Now, uh, uh, allegedly, she had sex with him. Uh, we'll, we'll get to why I just flat out said she had sex with him in a minute. That's when we get to the text messages. But, so. She allegedly had sex with this 17-year-old kid in the state of California, which the age of consent is 18. So, yeah, uh, that's a little bit odd right there when you're playing a 7-year-old's mother and you know him from the age of 7 to 17 and then you wind up having sex with him. That's a bit weird. Um... And that's really weird, especially since they called each other mother and son a lot. Like, that became their pet names for each other. Uh, man, I don't know. And so, apparently, this kid uh, sent her a letter uh, saying that he was going to go public with this. And apparently there was a payoff made. Now... Ozzy Argento claims that Anthony Bourdain, her boyfriend at the time, was the one who made the payoff. Now, we don't know what he says about it, because he's dead. I don't want to say that's convenient, but it sounds very convenient. Apparently she was opposed to this payoff, but Anthony Bourdain was like, look, pay the kid off. We'll just fucking be done with it. But... As we've come to find out recently, even if you're the most wealthy man in America, even if you're the most powerful man in America, even if you're the President of the United States, if you pay somebody to be silent, that means fuck all. So, apparently, the $380,000 payment, which is like three times what Donald Trump allegedly paid Stormy Daniels, means fuck all. Triple fuck all. So, now we get into pictures. There's a picture of her in bed with this kid. They both look topless. That's not good. And then we get into text messages. Now, uh, it's the text messages that are really really not good for her cuz eh, god damn it do it give me the fucking there we go hey here we go all right now I I don't believe I'm going to read all of these because much of it is just two people talking to each other there are a few key things 
that I might need to get Jesse for. Jesse's my law expert. Hold on one second. All right. So we have Jesse. As you can see here, Jesse is a law specialist. So he's going to weigh in on all the legal things. If there's any sort of problem legally for her with all of this, I, I don't know. I'm going to hold my hand here to cover up all the things that I have written on, on the whiteboard because secret musings of my own that I haven't really fleshed out entirely yet. So uh, it's going to look like I'm just constantly gesturing. And, and I'll gesture too. Um, so this one, first one here says, as in what does the public know and not know? Like which things are facts or not facts? It's an annoying question, but I need to have a clear vision of what angles we have to send some folks to get good intel for us. Now, scheming, you know, that's a little scheming there. It's not like, what's the truth? We just need to know the truth. What's the truth? Whatever. The public knows nothing. Now, this is, this is Asia. The public knows nothing. Only what New York Times wrote, which is one-sided. The shakedown letter. The horny kid jumped me. All right, so... Now the spin comes in. So it was rape or an attempted sexual action, right? Ozzy says, I had sex with him. It felt weird. I didn't know he was a minor until the shakedown letter. So, I don't know, Jesse, what do you think? Does that sound like a confession? Sounds to me like a confession. I had sex with him. It felt weird. Whether it felt weird or not, you had sex with minor. Mm -hmm. uh, either one is good enough to show you actively frown upon his advances. Uh, no, it was all on Snapchat. Disappeared. I didn't report because I always felt bad for this Hollywood failed child actor, a casualty of the machine of his parents. I have 80 pages on him by a PI that Anthony hired. Why would you have 80 pages on him from PI? Why would you feel the need to hire a PI? Sounds like counter smear campaign type stuff, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we don't always think of those. All of Anthony's emails pushing me to accept to pay. My emails with Carrie where we disagreed with that. So, all right, we're establishing something here. Anthony Bourdain wanted to pay. Again, I have no fucking clue what he says about any of this because he's not with us anymore. This is more blah, 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 uh, and find evidence that you rejected this person sexually at a point before. You know, like, this is all kind of the, this is parts that I didn't really want to sit and read. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm thinking about leaking through a trusted friend to the Guardian. If I lose my job, I will move to Africa or the Amazon forest. I want to be among the 90% of the world that doesn't give a fuck about this shit, not the conniving sick 10% of the entitled Westerners. Well, well good luck with that. Uh, Africa is gorgeous and absolutely safer than people give it credit for. Ethiopia or Senegal, Mapia in Brazil. Well, if you're thinking about Brazil, good luck to you. Uh... But yeah, that, you know, you really think 90% of the world, like, you really just think that it's only people in America that care about this. Uh, this is national news now. Uh, if there's any time you talk to your therapist about inappropriate advances before the whole thing, that may be helpful too. Not before, during the meeting where he jumped me. Right? Now... Right? That, this is sounding a lot like he, he assaulted her. Uh, what's up with the photo taken in bed? I think that's one that will be harder to cushion. Images are, an, are annoyingly assumption nation. I, images are annoyingly fact proving. They're not really assumption. I mean, she... Hold up. You can see my tits, that's all. It doesn't mean shit. He is standing up. Well... 
It doesn't look like he's standing up. Looks like he's laying down with you. I can tell that because it looks like he's laying down with you. And if you're in bed, which is what it looks like, with a minor, if you can see your tits in that picture, that's inappropriate behavior with a minor. And, and right? Like, isn't that right, Jesse? See? Dude, Jesse's totally with me on all of this. And, and he knows a lot. Uh, it, it, it's beyond me. It's unfathomable. You worked with him previously. How did the age thing escape? I mean, 16 is the age of consent in most countries around the world, so I was actually shocked about the 17 thing. 15 in France and Italy. Oh, well. When I was 17, I was with a 33-year-old man for years. I had just turned 17. If it was in Italy, apparently that was not illegal. I don't know. I could have sworn that there was a text message. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here's this one. The kid wrote a note. Azia, I love you with all my heart. So glad we met again, and I'm uh, so glad you're in my life, Jimmy. All right. Love letter from 17 year old. Uh, he wrote me this afterwards and kept sending me unsolicited nudes all these years up until two weeks before the attorney's letter. Uh, it wasn't raped, but I was frozen. He was on top of me. After he told me I had been his sexual fantasy since was 12. Now, she's saying here it wasn't rape. Well, it wasn't raped. But she was frozen. He was on top of her. You know? So, she asked if it was rape. Or whoever asked if it was rape. Here she's saying it wasn't rape. She did say she had sex with him. Kid that she started a movie in when, she, when he was seven. Yeah. It's just, nah, it's just all really weird. And saying, well, you know, I, I didn't want to pay him off. My ex-living boyfriend wanted, was the one that paid him off. That's, you know, we don't really get to know what goes on there. This just isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. Now, as far as whether, you know, what this does to heart... Do I think this makes Harvey Weinstein innocent? No. Do I think that this means she's lying about Harvey Weinstein? No, not really. I mean, I, I don't see these two things as connected. I think somebody can be assaulted and assault somebody else, and those two things cannot be... Neither disproves the other. You know what I mean? If Harvey Weinstein winds up being found guilty, this doesn't mean that she's guilty. Doesn't mean that she's innocent. If she winds up being found guilty or innocent of this, doesn't really negate the Harvey Weinstein thing. All this kind of stuff has to come out in court. If if it gets that far. I don't know. Right now, as far as I know, it's just a whole lot of gossip and drama. But... Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that's really crazy about this is that she hasn't lost her job yet, as far as I know. I have no clue. I haven't seen anything that says that she's been fired from anything. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. When, when, what's his face? Shit. American Beauty. Can't remember his name. Anyways, when, when some kid came out and said, well, when some guy came out and said, uh, he kind of pushed me, pushed me on a bed and, and, you know, made a drunken advance at me. And then he came out and said, ah, I was drunk. By the way, I'm gay. It was locked down on everything. Everything fucking gone. Everything shut down. Everything fired. You know, all that sort of thing. So again, you know, here's one of the left's darlings. And something's coming out against her. And everybody's dragging their feet. We're going to see what comes of this. Right? So here it is my problem with it. This is pretty fucking damning. Everything that I've just shown you, everything that we've got right now, it doesn't look like this is this is not a thing that didn't happen. She said, point blank, I had sex with him. Right? So now she's got to prove that it was rape by a 17-year-old and not her raping a 17-year-old. You know, statutorily, whatever. Right? But... 
for most people, it seems like just the, just, just the slightest whiff of this sort of thing is enough to ruin them. Period. End of sentence. James Gunn made some nasty tweets. Immediately fired by Disney. Fuck it. But, ah, we don't really know what's going on here, you know, we don't know if she paid, if Anthony Bourdain paid, or, you know, whatever, or what happened. A little fucking ridiculous, I think. 